Just a girl in her van and a video cam. It's Marley, Hannah, and me. This is day one. We're actually parked right next to the bay in Mission Bay, California. And there was a sign that said no overnight camping or parking, but we saw a lot of other van lifers and RVs, so we deducted that they're probably not enforcing these rules. Normally, I would say listen to the signs, but I'd also say listen to your gut, and you kind of have to find a balance between that. That's where we stayed last night. What'd you think? Uh, still a little paranoid about it, but it definitely worked and there's definitely other fan lifers and RVers here So also it was really funny because there's this big amusement park right next to here So we just heard people screaming like every 30 minutes until the park closed. I did not because I'm deaf. Yeah, lucky you This is day two today. We parked in San Bernardino National Forest National forests are awesome because depending on the one that you're at you can park for up to 14 days in a row for free so if you're wanting to explore an area for a little bit longer than a day or so, this might be a pretty good option for you. Something that's nice about this spot is there's really only room for one car. Not that we can't make friends, but sometimes you really want to have your own parking spot and be able to do what you want and not worry about somebody else parking there. I am so happy to not be stealth camping tonight. The last few nights we've been stealth camping and it just starts to wear on you. And we can be seen here. We can take out our stove, we can cook. I can set up my laptop on the back and edit some videos. Tonight's a good night. I'm happy. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Hannah and I are pretty much like vultures right now. We're just sitting here waiting for these people in this parking spot to move. We're just waiting like stalkers. But if somebody takes that spot, I'm gonna be real unhappy. It's such a good spot. It has a mountain view, Hannah. Damn, a mountain view. It had a mountain view and service and was in the shade. I cannot oh believe God. this worked. This was so Oop. worth. Oh, wait, oh my God. Please tell me they are. For you. Are you guys staying? Oh, gotcha, cool. <sighs> okay, we're going to find a place, don't worry. This is our spot today. We are still on National Forest land, so we're still allowed to stay for 14 days. I think we're just staying for one night longer. We have a pretty cool view. There are only nine spots to park. And if you don't get those, you just don't have a place to park. And then that's really stressful. And then we have to go into town and then we'd have to stealth camp. And I was just not about it tonight. The lady that was parked here is actually coming back, but we kind of had a symbiotic relationship because she wanted to go fishing and there is no way she would have come back and still have a spot. We said, okay, well we can go there and hold your spot. And then in exchange, we can share the spot. We also have a new friend, so that's cool. And here's our day four. Not every parking spot for van life is beautiful, but Hannah and I have started to really appreciate rest stops. For the most part, they're usually well lit, which makes you feel a bit safer. And there were vending machines at this one, which Hannah and I got really excited about, but the best part is that they have bathrooms open all night. Day five, sometimes the spots you don't plan for end up actually being the best. So this little parking patch is for rock climbers, but it doubled for us as a little campsite. We drove a little bit of a ways and we parked right here. The climbing crag is actually right over there. We found our spot here in Montana in this nice little parking lot. There's no signs that say no parking, which is surprising and also appreciated. You are so mean. Why? There is one slight drawback, and that is the fact that we are right by the train tracks. But Hannah and I actually grew up with a train in our backyard, so we're pretty used to the sounds that trains make at night, and uh, sometimes it's weirdly comforting, so I'm cool with it. Day seven. This is our parking spot for the night, right next to the river down there. but that's where we're gonna go rock climbing tomorrow morning. So we already have our spot, we're already parked out by it. Super nice that we don't have to do a super long drive in the morning. Get like four or five hours of climbing in and then head off to our next destination. 